Helicopters are useful things with many applications. They can be used to survey hard to reach areas, help police in crime busting operations, and even lift wounded people to hospitals. They have uses for the military, by civilians, by everybody. In the real world, that is. In video games, helicopters are used for two things. Exposition and explosions. Since time immemorial, the humble exposition chopper has been gaming's best love method of expanding on the story. With their players held captive in what is essentially a giant metal shoe hovering above the ground, developers are free to tell players exactly how they got into this mess, what they need to do to get out of it, anything they fancy really, because there's nothing they can do about it. Some of the best bits of talking at the player in gaming history have happened in helicopters. Your orders are to take him out. In Metal Gear Solid 5, Miller pounces pretty much every time Snake gets into the helicopter, using this time to fill him in on mission details, feed him bits of backstory about which one of the innumerable franchise factions is involved this time, and generally trying to make up for the fact you can ignore pretty much every single tape in the game if you want to, thereby bypassing massive chunks of the story. But hey, it's not all bad, you can at least hang out with D-Dog. Or you can watch Quiet writhe around like she's forgotten what a chair does, if that's your thing. Gears of War is a franchise that also makes ample use of helicopters. In the first game, the helicopter may as well be called the Marcus Phoenix Flying Hype Machine, used as it is to quickly build a sense of legend around the grunty cog soldier. Hey, are you THE Marcus Phoenix? The one who fought at Aspield Fields? The Marcus Phoenix flying hype machine also makes an appearance at the end of Gears of War 2 when it's meant to deliver a bomb to the heart of the Locust stronghold. It fails to do that, but instead delivers the far more important package of advancing the story and further establishing the heroism of Marcus Phoenix. God bless you, Marcus Phoenix flying hype machine. <laughs> The chopper in Tom Clancy's The Division, on the other hand, is considerably less fun to take a ride in. Trapped in a helicopter flying into Manhattan, you're subjected to a verbal barrage from your superior officer about how she doesn't know, or especially like you, but her eye and her leg really hurt right now, so she's just gonna have to trust you not to do anything stupid the moment you get out of the bollocking copter. I hope to God I'm right! That said, this chopper ride is still a vast improvement on the first helicopter you encounter in the division. That one straight up explodes before you can even get in it. Do this. But we can't very well talk about helicopter-based mission briefings without at least paying lip service to Rogue Warrior. Mickey Rourke's violent, mumbly adventures start off with a lengthy bit of exposition as you prepare to kill half the population of North Korea. Today, that means flying under the radar. Hanging out the side of a helicopter, yes, very discreet. In many ways, this sequence is the quintessential example of the exposition chopper. It lets you know what's going on while promising action is right around the corner. Probably because the developers knew there was no way they could get players to sit through a briefing that literally includes a manila folder without at least bribing them with a bit of imminent gunplay. I'm all inside the North Korean regime has intel on a munitions factory producing a new breed of missile. But really no chopper-based story advancement could ever trump that of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, when the helicopter you're riding in gives you play-by-play -play radio updates and then a lovely view of a nuclear bomb going off in Basra, Iraq. I mean, give a lengthy speech about the importance of a mission, sure, but it's never going to trump a nuclear warhead, is it? Call of Duty 4's nuclear detonation scene is also interesting as it brilliantly showcases the other thing helicopters are built to do in video games, and that's crash and or explode. Ditto the choppers when the EMP goes off in Modern Warfare 2, the chopper explosion in Black Ops, every helicopter in Spec Ops The Line, Tomb Raider, 50 Cent Blood on the Sand, Resident Evil 6, pretty much any video game featuring a helicopter you'd care to mention. Shit! Hold on! At this point I'm starting to wonder whether helicopters are secretly impossible to code and all video game developers have entered into a secret pact whereby they just make their helicopters crash so nobody ever needs to find out. That's pretty much the only logical explanation as far as I can tell. The jig is up, games industry, you may as well confess now. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy a feature about how facial hair is secretly video games' best narrative device, or perhaps a look at where Resident Evil went wrong. Or heck, why not watch the video we made with Bertie about the real-life Witcher school you can visit in Poland? Either way, thanks for watching, and please do like and subscribe for plenty more from Eurogamer. Bye!